Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. I hope you're all doing well. This is, uh, I mean, our last preview. Um, full harm best of Manchester United preview, the last game before the World Cup. And guys, yeah, before we start, make sure you smash that like button and be part of the community. Subscribe, guys, for all of you who have uh, all the subscribers of this channel. Please share the content with others so we can build a bigger community. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I would also like to tell you guys that since as we're having a... Uh, We'll be having a, a Christmas uh, uh, break here. Uh, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away one of their smartphones. If you want to see them, you see them down here. We have two of them, Oxblood and, and, and uh, Thick Blue. If you um, want to get them, the, the, there is a question which will get the answer on the Fulham game, the Fulham watch along. The question is, which was uh, Ganacho, Alexander Ganacho's first team before Manchester, in the team before he joined Manchester United. So uh, if you do have the answer, drop them below on our any of our videos and uh the results will be during the world cup and i will send it share it with you guys so yeah let's go straight to the lineup here yeah, manchester united we are playing against a fulham team which is in high confidence fulham hasn't lost i think they have they haven't lost seven games right they, are, they have lost once in seven games that's the point i'm trying to say they have very compact team this season we mostly thought Fulham will be uh, going back to say uh dropping back to uh the end of the season but they are more or less a mid-table team they do very well in their stadium and uh, that it will be a very good it will be a top challenge for manchester united i think ten Hag is taking the guys there just for three points they just to to get a three point because as we all know ten Hag is a very methodological uh, coach and also he is a uh, very very he is very keen on how to win he is all about winning because that's the brand the ten Hag brand so let's go straight with our lineup. I want to tell you my lineup. And guys, drop your lineup below. Last time I had oh, I had eight players, uh, on field players, and I missed two. This time I, I am doing things different. I'm there, I'm joining my lineup. Ten Hag will decide what he wants. I think on the goal, it will be De Gea. That's 100%. Um, we can bet for that one. <laughs> two central backs. I will go with um, <clears throat> Lisandro Martinez and Lindelof. On the right, I'll go with Malaysia. Malasa Tyra Malasa because he has done that before. He's quite very uh, flexible player. Luke Shaw comes to the left uh, and holding midfielder. We know them very well. We have Ericsson and uh, Casemiro. Playmaker Bruno Fernandez uh, on the right and left will go Rashford and Alexandra Ganacho. We need Ganacho to start that game because we need someone who will put the team into pressure. He might not play 90 minutes, uh, but I think Ganacho brings that flair you know he he, he he provokes very well a little bit of ryan geeks there someone who can do something out of nothing i think the guy if he continues he is uh, going to be really a world star but let's see and my center forward get a good tea for the beginning of the day my center forward will, i will go marshall marshall is not going to the world cup he needs to start um uh, and cristiano ronaldo I, I did put cristiano ronaldo on the thumbnail but the issue with cristiano ronaldo is that he's not fully fit maybe he's the one that he doesn't want to pick up and knock uh, whatever because the world cup is uh, in the next one week huh? and uh yeah so that that's my what i i line up tell me what you think you think that's a good lineup do you think this is what your ten hag is going to use drop yours below because i always react to your lineups and uh, guys i'm inviting you all guys all uh when united is playing uh, watch along we uh yeah on the channel also watching with you guys telling you guys a lot of stories about manchester united tactical build up about manchester united so get uh make sure you get you go uh you tune on to the united way and uh, as i said again we're doing a giveaway i would love only united fan to win it so share this channel with all your family members all you have to be is uh a subscriber and also follow our socials as well because that's where we we obviously share our information in regards to manchester united yeah so um uh um some the news we have in the news here about uh ganacho i was asked this question by fan if ganacho is going to the world cup ganacho isn't going to the world cup i think that's a big mistake by uh who is this colari who 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 who, who is the man the manager the coach of the bridge argentina national team ganacho is 18 years old the next world cup he'll be 22 they took Messi at that age. Eh? They took Cristiano. They took um, Cristiano Ronaldo when he was a kid. They took. Uh, uh, I remember Ronaldo, the big Ronaldo, Maradona. 
when a player is 18 years of age and he is so amazing you have to give him a chance to test uh, a tournament like the world cup that builds him confidence moving forward i think that's a massive mistake they have done argentina for leaving out ganacho i think he should go i heard some united fans talking about ganacho um not going to the not staying in manchester united will help his growth how does he help his growth someone to tell me i mean ganacho plays for manchester united owned by the club but he but the south american players are so loyal to their team just like most african players we don't man we don't play we don't manage i, I say we because i'm talking about these two areas all right regions of the world our national team is met with too much pride so it's not about money it's about being represented represent representing your your country so i think uh, it will be a good example of what i'm just saying is sade Mane, who has an injury but still was put into the team uh, because he is trying to recover as quick as possible the world cup happens once every four years and not every player will play will see it once so i think ganacho being omitted is an issue but let's come back to manchester united the game tomorrow i think we should start it very quick we shouldn't allow fulham to get a goal to win that confidence that is the problem we have manchester united that we obviously uh, sometimes uh, we give away a game so quick so we shouldn't do that. It is very important that we shouldn't do that as Manchester United players uh, and, and the team. So we should go very hard on um, the first thing we should do when we go in the cottage, uh, the stadium is to try, try to be, try to manage the game, try to get hold of the game, because when you get hold of the game, you can do what you want to do. I mean, you see what I mean? So that's why I said in terms of players, um, who we are looking forward for Fulham, I think Pereira has is their star, one of the star man. They have a certain William, had a certain um, South American. How is his call? I think it's Alexander or whatever. I don't know. I don't watch them a lot, but I watch some of their games. Fulham also have some flair players, but I think what we should do, United, is just control the game. For the star man for Manchester United, the star man of the moment is um, uh, Ganacho, you uh, Argentinian Alessandro Ganacho. And I think Ganacho is going to be um, a star player if he's well managed. I'll do a video about Ganacho exclusively on my Ganacho. So you guys stay tuned until I'll tell you guys through my own experience as a player and what I think uh, the value of this player could, um, could, could, could be for Manchester United. I think United should give him, I think he signed a contract. I think he should be held for a very long time. Um, he should, they should give him at least a five plus one con year contract so mm, to keep Ganacho around for long because he is um, something big he's something he is something special in the game he he should be well managed so um yeah guys tell me that's my lineup as i said i can repeat to you guys the gear you have the holding midfielder Lisandro martinez and lindelof on the left luke shaw on the right career malaysia holding midfielders which we play well obviously with two double pivot we uh ericsson and casemiro they have their feet uh three are uh, ten that in front of them you have bruno in the middle i'll go for rashford ganacho on the left and they will be switching position and uh, in the attack we have uh, uh central forward which is marshall who came in uh, for the first game and scored a goal the lab i mean those in the bench will take care of themselves but i think we, we i think that the in this line of more ten Hag would think a lot would think about if he should start um if he's going to start elanga and bring in ganacho but for me i think ganacho should start the game he's the man at the moment he's in great confidence he should start the game so drop your comments below and tell me which of them you think uh, it's a good one what lineup will you are you going to go in for this game and uh, i just want to also to tell you guys remind you about the giveaway if you want to win this all you need to do you subscribe to the channel and uh doing the full ham game We'll be asking this question an open question no alexandro 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 ganacho which is the first team he has played for i would love you guys to answer and the winner make sure you're subscribed because when i read the winner it is, it is i have one week to know the winner we meet you we communicate on instagram and i send it to you as i did it previously in the us we post it all uh, worldwide very lovely yeah? it's gold and blood blood anyway guys talk to you soon see you on our watch along subscribe if you want fuck off if you don't i'm kidding <laughs> yeah fuck off if you don't i'm kidding again well don't fuck off and, and uh, because united ways a very exciting place to be anyway
Bye-bye, Anaya. Talk to you tomorrow then. Bye-bye.